How often do I visit the schools in the area is daily. I was there at Coastal Montessori today for a couple of hours. Um, I'm a professional woman, but I do everything that I can to volunteer, and I, I've done that at both of the schools that my children attended, and I look forward to doing it in other schools as well, um, given the opportunity. Um, as far as the voice of the teachers, um, I don't know the protocol currently. I would assume that when teachers have concerns, they go straight to their principal, and I would think that the teachers, if they don't get heard by the principal, should have an opportunity to go above the principal to an administrator. I don't know that protocol currently, um, but I'm sure that exists, and if it doesn't, that's probably a process that we need to look at and that we would need to educate the teachers on. Um, but if that is a problem for the teachers and that's something that they see as a big issue, then I definitely think it's something that in a working meeting we could work through and come up with a process that would work for both the teachers, the principals, and the administrators. I would think that there should be some already in place within the school district for teachers to actually go and, and talk to anyone if they have a problem with anyone. There should something be, already be something in place. But, but I guess myself, and for me, if you're asking me what should happen, I would say that uh, they should be able to talk to anyone on this board, uh, anyone who sits on the board. What's wrong with talking to them? What's wrong with sending them a letter? What's wrong with doing something that's going to make sure that their voice is being heard? But so far as visiting the school, I'm, all, I'm always down because I go down, I, I'm an ex-football coach with you know, the college band we won for the state championship there. And, and I still go out there with the kids and, 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 and let, talk to the coaches and see everybody who's down there as well. So it's not a, I'm not a stranger going around the schools. You know, even, from the, even, even when you go back to the little league, the little league, you know, little league, I coached little league football for a long time myself, and we always uh, kind of were doing the same thing. So always at schools, love kids, is that great for kids? Thank you. When I first came on board, I'm not quite as faithful as I was, but initially. Twice a year, although I'm from the 7th District, twice a year I attempt to go to every school in this county. So for those of you who might end up, think about that, twice a year to every school. Some people even do better than that. And of course, uh, Barnes Ferry is in the area, uh, so I can't count the times I go there uh, because I eat lunch there occasionally. <laughs> Whoever has that good lunch will get that third and fourth visit. <laughs> but there's a minimum twice a year. I attempt it every year. Thank you. Teachers, teachers are in the trenches every day. Uh, I work for Coastal Carolina now two days a week, half days. And we went out to Waccamaw Elementary School and Waccamaw Middle School. And I spoke to those students, they're freshmen, and I asked them, I said, are you tired? And they said, oh yes, and we only stayed there till 12 o'clock, noon. And I told them, I said, just think how these teachers are. They have to plan, they work until whenever, all night, doing lesson plans and so forth. I mean, it's just an unbelievable job. I, I've been a teacher, I've been a teacher and a coach for years, not just a principal. But I know how it is on both sides of the equation. I understand when teachers have issues, the most important thing is to discuss those issues, not just with each other, but also with the school administration. Um, I don't think, I think teachers need an avenue to vent. And I think when they have valid concerns, I think it's important for the principal to be involved and also the district administration. Because I, I know some principals, some of my colleagues, uh, and, and me too, I'm trying to get as much input from teachers as I possibly could because, like I said, they're the ones that are really in the trenches every day. And, and um, it's important for them to be heard. What their needs are, what their wants are, you know, it goes back to that discretionary funds, uh, funding. It's important. Money does, is, not, is not the all the all solving the issue problem, but I tell you what, as a teacher, doesn't it help when you get some more money for supplies and so forth and copies, making copies? Uh, I, I know when I was a teacher, 
we have those mimeograph machines with the purple hands and all that stuff. But um, it's important to make copies. It's important. Did I get the stop sign yet? There it is. Thank you. From, from the time I've been on the board, I've encouraged teachers to feel free at any time to give me a call if there's a particular issue that they would like me to address. I promise them I won't use their names in any kind of capacity if they don't want me to, but my number is well published. I also make it an attempt, since I still work for a living, I try to get to every teacher forum. And those are very good uh, ways to get to know what teachers are thinking, what's going on in their schools, and uh, they put on some wonderful activities. And as far as visiting schools, I'm fortunate I have four kids at Carver's Bay Middle School this year, so they're getting tired of seeing me already. And I make it an attempt to, to go to different school activities when I know they're going on. And the academic bowls, those are always wonderful events to go to. So I try to be visible wherever I can be. And I only get the, right now, I get the opportunity to go to two different, two different schools to visit, and that's Georgetown High School, where my daughter's at, and the elementary school at Kennington. And they know me, the staff knows me there. And uh, so I, I, any other school, I have not visited. But if I'm elected, I will, because at large covers the whole county. And but the teachers that I do know, and I do hear them vent. Uh, I sometimes I uh, go to Walmart at midnight, so I don't catch them sometimes. But they, you know, but I love our teachers. Um, parents, parents, you need to hear your teachers vent. And you know where you hear your teachers vent? Parent teachers conference, open house. Parents, it is amazing how many parents you see in a stand at a ball game. And then it's amazing how many parents you do not see at open house. Teachers want to talk to you about their children. Their they're their student, but they're their children also. They want to talk to you about them. Help give you guidance. Let them know what's going on in the classroom. They want to vent to their parents, to the parents of, the, of that student, to tell them what's going on. As far as visiting the school, I try to make it around as many schools as I can. I do have a full-time job, but I take you to vote about one week vacation every year to take and go to the schools. That doesn't necessarily mean going to every one classroom or going during the day. There's after school events and that's important too. Whether it be athletic events, whether it be the arts, or anything that's going on in school, robotic competition. There's so many things out there that we attend from time to time that we see a lot of people. We are visible. We are visible in the schools. We are visible in the communities. Now, as far as the teachers and all, we all are on this district web page. Our profiles, our pictures, our telephone numbers, our addresses. Oh, I wish more teachers would call me than telemarketers do. It'd be nice to have a, a, a voice that you can work with instead of somebody you're trying to get off the phone. But the teachers form. I attend pretty much all the teachers forms. And I encourage our teachers. I, every meeting, I ask, talk to somebody. If you've got an issue, let us know. If you've got a concern, if you've got an idea you'd like to run across, talk to someone. We have a leader in that teacher's phone that they can take and bring concerns to. We have these concerns put out in writing. They were answered, different things by the district and all. So, there are tools and things to use out there. Take advantage of them.
and District 2 has probably more schools than any other district, we have 10. And I visit each one of the schools at least <coughs> once a month. I um, go to the web page and I pick a teacher I don't know. I kind of see, you know, what she's going to be teaching. And then I just go in and go to the class and sit there for 30, 45 minutes. So I go to all 10 schools every month. I have a planner. I've never had a planner in all of my life. Everything <coughs> goes in the planner. My planner, I have some place I could go in a school every day if I could work it in. They schedule Christmas parties six on one night at the same time. So I try to attend the ones that are in my district. But all of us, the present board members, participate and we show up at everything. As far as com the teacher <coughs> complaints, I get teacher complaints all the time. I do because I, re I respond to them. I ran on communication in 2010, and I follow up, and you can ask the administration if I don't follow up. Teacher form is represented of, ten, of, of all the teachers of the year from each one of the schools, including the teacher of the year from last year. So it's a program every month. The teachers get together and bring their concerns. They are given to them, Dr. Dozier and the administration in writing. And when they leave, they have all of that answer in writing. I do encourage chain of command, and I do encourage the teacher-principal relationship, but if it can't happen, then I might just have to intercede. 